What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host with the most, AvriLR32 here, and we are up late. It is almost midnight. We are grinding out Pokemon Legends Arceus, and uh, <laughs> we're trying to get those space-time distortions to appear. In the meantime, we are looking at Neos cards from Power of the Elements. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick backstory with me on Neos cards. I absolutely love Neos and Neospatians. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. I have never played Neos competitively. It's always been a deck I've wanted to play competitively, but it's just never had the support that nor uh, not normal heroes, but that regular heroes would get, you know, like Dark Law and things like that. And yeah, sure, those cards can technically search for Neos, but you're better off playing a straight Neos deck instead of playing you know the heroes with neos it, it just there's some things that can can gel together and some things that can't however the cards that we got out of this reveal look very very promising so be sure to smash the like big crap out of that subscribe button if i could talk today and let's dive right in shall we so this is elemental hero spirit of neos i've got dueling book pulled up because this thing can search a fuck ton of cards it's a level 7 light warrior effect monster 2500 attack 2000 defense you can only use the first second third effect of this card's name each once per turn so when an opponent's monster declares an attack you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position and if you do it cannot be destroyed by battle its second effect is that if this card is special summoned, you can add one spell or trap that mentions a hero monster's name or one polymerization from your deck to your hand. And then during your main phase, you can shuffle this card into the deck. And if you do, special summon one elemental hero normal monster from your deck. The big thing with this is that when it is special summoned, check out all of the things that this deck, or rather that this card can search. Starting off with Destiny Heroes, it can search out Clock Tower Prison, it can search out D-Force, which is very interesting. Now you might be thinking, really, Destiny Heroes, it says any hero spell or trap that mentions a hero's name specifically. The traps, it can't search anything. For Destiny Heroes, you're going to get those two spells. Now, when you look at Elemental Heroes, sorry, I had to do a jump cut there because my dumbass can't type. But when you look at hero cards specifically, you're talking about Bubble Blaster, Illusion and Shuffle, um, Cyclone Boomerang, Feather Shot, uh, Miracle Contact, Next, which is a really good card. Uh, it can search Neos Fusion, the fusion spell for Neos Patients. And really this this and this are going to be your big searchers, I feel, for the Neos deck. All these other things are kind of whatever. Like, yeah, it's cute that you can search the support for Bubble Man and Avion and Burstinatrix and things like that. If it specifically mentions a Neos monster, it can search Neospace. And actually, now that I think about it, it can also search... Uh, not only instant Neospace, but also regular Neospace because it mentions Neos in the name. You've also got Neos Force, you've got Reverse of Neos, Wrath of Neos, uh, all the Neos support things. Uh, Poison Rose too, I guess, because it's in the name. <laughs> um, I think the biggest thing though is also Neospace just because, you know, it's the field spell that Neospatians need to stay on the board. So this is a very interesting card that I think is going to be huge support for Neos. Next up, we have Elemental Hero Shining Neos Wingman. It's a level 8 warrior fusion effect monster with 3100 attack, 2500 defense. It requires Neos plus one Wingman fusion monster. So when you're talking about Wingman, I mean, we're talking what? Literally two monsters? Uh, yeah, Why <laughs> three of them. <laughs> <laughs> wild Wingman, Shining Flare, and then Flame Wingman. You, you ain't going to be using Wild Wingman, that's for damn sure. So you're probably going to be using like King of the Swamp or some other sort of fusion substitute. Uh, but must be Fusion Summon. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think you can use King of the Swamp. I think it has to actually be a Wingman Fusion Monster. It can be substituted with one that has this, the uh, specific name. Uh, if this card is special summon, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes on the field. That seems really good. Gains 300 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. That seems really, really good. And if this card destroys a monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. This is your OTK card. This card is bananas. Um, 
yeah, it's just a straight upgrade from the original Shining Flare Wingman. Then we have a what I'm considering a retrain of Cross Porter. This is Cross Keeper. It's a level 2 Dark Warrior effect monster with 400 attack and defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. So you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to special summon one elemental hero or neospatial monster from your hand or grave. I wish it said the fucking deck. But... If you special summon it from the grave, its effects are negated. If you special summon an elemental hero fusion monster or monsters while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, draw two cards, and then place a card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Even though it can't special summon from the deck, I feel like this card's still pretty good. I wish that this card was treated as Neos while on the field or in the grave. That'd be really good. And then we have Engage Neo Space. So it's a normal spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck turning you activate this card except fusion monsters, obviously. Send one Neo Spatial monster and one elemental hero monster to the grave, one from your hand and one from your deck. Special summon one Neo Spatial monster or one level five or higher elemental hero monster from your deck. If it is Neos, it gains a thousand attack. And if you do, add a polymerization from your deck or grave to your hand. It mentions Neos. You know what that means. It can be searched by Spirit of Neos. This this seems like a really dope card. I don't know how competitive it will be, but I think that um, it's definitely a good starter card for the deck. Also, the art here is really cool. I'm not going to lie. Then we have an interesting card that I saw someone comment on. This is Instant Contact. So it's a normal spell, and it's literally instant fusion for Neospatians, which is fucking bananas. You can only activate one card of this card's name per turn. Pay a thousand life points, special summon one level seven or lower element hero or neo spatial monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. But if you do not have Neos on your field, it's got Neos, it's searchable, or in your graveyard, the summon monster cannot attack, its effect is negated, also returning to the extra deck during the end phase. I saw a comment where someone said that this is uh, a similar opening or a similar picture to like what the third opening of the GX anime was, uh, but Air Neos is edited out. So the person commenting is like, why is it that they're blatantly and obviously ignoring Air Neos? I'm thinking that they're going to have a retrain of Air Neos and they just don't want to uh, spoil that. Then we have EN Wave. This is uh, Elemental Hero Mariner with Glow Moss, which is really cool. Mariner was a sucky card, but really cool art. Continuous spell. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If your elemental hero monster monsters is used as material for fusion summon and sent to the grave or banished, you can special summon one neospatial monster or one neos, this is searchable, from your deck. If a neospatial monster monsters and or neos is shuffled from your field inner grave into your deck and or extra deck, you can special summon one elemental hero monster from your graveyard. This card I don't think is really all that good. Um, it's... I don't know. It's searchable with the new Neos card, so maybe it will be played. I don't really know. Um, the second effect seems kind of cool, but I just, I don't know. I really don't know. And then we have this boss-ass art. Like, this Neos ready to, Neos is ready to kick some ass or something, boys. Like, that. that's dope. We have Fusion Exceed, so it's a quick play spell. You can only activate one card of this card's name per turn. Target one face-up monster on the field. Reveal one elemental hero monster, one neo spatial monster, or one level 10 monster from your hand deck or extra deck. And if you use the targeted monster as a fusion material this turn, you can treat its name as the revealed monsters. Also, if you have Neos, you know what that means, this card's also searchable, on your field and or in your graveyard, send the revealed monster to the graveyard. Otherwise, if it was revealed from the hand, shuffle it into the deck. This card seems really good. Like, really, really good. I mean, I, the, the, it seems like it's a one card, uh, Rainbow Neos. I could be wrong. Also, I apologize for constantly pointing out it's searchable. I just, I want to hit home how broken that Spirit of Neos card is. It's, it's Stratos for Neos, just about. Then, last card is Favorite Contacts. This is a normal trap. This thing's fucking bananas. It's a Shadal Ruck for, uh, or Shadal Schism for, for Neos. You only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists a hero monster as material. By placing the materials listed on it on the bottom of the deck in any order, from among your cards in your hand, on your field, in your grave, and or face up banished cards, ignoring its summoning conditions. And if you place Neos, it's searchable. The summoned monster cannot be returned to the extra deck. Um, should all schism anyone? <laughs> like this seems this seems really damn good. I really like this trap card. This seems really good. Um, Ian Wave is eh, I don't know. Instant contact is fucking bananas. This is gonna be a generic card that people are gonna play. Like people are gonna play this in like some random level seven or lower, like Neos fusion monster. Um, 
I mean, it, it could be anything. It really could. Like, it could be, like, what? <laughs> like, you just type in Neos, and, like, all these Neos fusions pop up. And as long as it's level 7 or lower, you can drop it out. And, like, what? Flare Neos is a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So all the Neos fusions are all level 7. So you could drop out Air Neos, Flare Neos. You could drop this out and just have a monster to extend into a Link Summon. Um, Kluger, I don't believe, is a 7 if... I could count three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no, you can't use that. Uh, Marine Neos, I think, is too high. Glow Neos, you can. You can't do Cosmo Neos. Um, Brave Neos, three, four, five, six. That you can do Brave Neos. Storm Neos, I think that's too high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's too high. So, guys, this is the new Neos support. This is just a random build that I've had laying around, but I'm gonna definitely whip this back out and try it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.